Welcome to the Wealthy Lala Show with myself, Lori Larson. This is episode 140. Um, yeah, I've decided that I'm going to start throwing the uh, episode number in it. I just get that that might create more ease. You know, as we go along, there's other little things we add, we take away, we change. We allow life to contribute to us by making choices and getting awarenesses and or information and then changing or not, depending on what comes up. So yeah, I'm a, so today is episode 140. You know, um, this has really been popping for me to talk about and, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, when we're around a lot of people who take things personally. Um, our this reality actually takes a lot of takes offense with a lot of things. Um, you end up without even realizing it, becoming a victim of circumstance, a victim of other people, a victim of the weather, a victim of, um, gosh, you know. What, a, what somebody else says to you, does, posts on Facebook, posts on Instagram, um, the, whether they look at you or they don't look at you, you talk to them and they don't answer. Um, this is something that I know way too well, the whole idea of taking things personally. Now, when I first started to hear that other people's judgments, whether they're good or bad, actually have nothing to do with me or you, I was like, what? Like, I seriously, it was what I, you know, it's like you get brain fried. So if you guys have ever had that, where someone says something to you and it's almost like you can't even hear it. Well, that's, that's usually because we have a point of view about that. We have a, it's a touchy subject. It's a sensitive subject. It's uh, something that's a little too close to home. And we end up getting almost like this confused uh, in our world. And what I know about that now is usually, <laughs> pretty much always, it means there's something in it for me. Now, um, when I heard that other people's judgments of me has nothing to do with me, um, I actually at first didn't like that. Because I was so used to um, taking what other people did or didn't do, like taking offense to it, taking it personally meant it meant something wrong about me, whatever. And you know, it's even those positive judgments too. Like if you get a lot of people saying to you how beautiful you are, how amazing, how fun, how whatever you are, and you become dependent on that, um, that's actually something that's not really healthy either. It's not any more healthy than someone calls you, um, I can think of a number of, say, swear words or names. You know, you're an idiot, you're sensitive, you're angry, you're annoying, you're frustrating, um, you don't shut up, you just whatever. So the reason why I'm kind of going into detail about this is because this is something that's actually really, really valuable to actually get. And if you slow it down enough and look at it, you actually can't move forward and lie to yourself about it anymore that what anybody else says has absolutely anything to do with you. So if someone comes to me and says, hey, Lori, um, your hair is so beautiful. I just love it. Okay. So now think about this, okay? That's their perspective. It really is. It's their perspective. And now they may be aware of something, you know, uh, the hair, it really does suit me. It's more congruent with who I am. Uh, it, it's, it's something that's really nice because, I mean, we do wear clothes and or style our hair in ways that work for us or don't work for us. You know, it's even like earrings. I can't wear big earrings, but there's other people who look like me and they wear big earrings and it, it looks beautiful. Like people that are smaller in the face than me or have shorter hair. And it's just, it's magical. Um, and it's not something that just feels comfortable for me. But anyways, so if someone has called you a name 
Okay. So they've, they've told you you're an a-hole or you're a jerk. Okay. They've told you you're a jerk. Now, if you are feeling really good about yourself and you feel amazing, you know, and you know, you're not a jerk, you have that knowing about yourself is what they say going to have any impact on you. You're going to be like, no, that's actually really funny. Interesting. You feel that way. Now, if you happen to react to it, you want to look in your world. Is it something that you actually believe that you are? You actually believe that you're a jerk, that you can be a jerk. And they're actually saying something that's waking that up in your world. So when I had first heard this, other people's judgments has nothing to do with you. You know, um, I really liked the invitation. Well, I didn't like it at first, like I said. And then after I thought about it and I watched it in other people's worlds, I started to allow myself to have a different perspective with it. Now, when someone says something about you, um, a judgment of any kind, their opinion is actually their opinion. Now, that's where it used to stop. It's just like whatever anybody says has nothing to do with you, so then you just ignore it. Well, what I discovered for me is that there was kind of another step to that. It's like, yes, um, other people's judgment has nothing to do with me, good or bad. It's how I interpret what they've said that's whether there's anything I got to clean up in my world or not. So that's like what I said about going back to like being called a jerk. If there's somewhere in my world that I think I am, or like I used to be told I was too sensitive. So I use, I bought that. So when someone would say it to me, I would get upset because I'd have to align and agree with them in order for it to cause a reaction in my world. I'd have to believe that that meant something about me and that they were right because I agree with that with them. And if you think about it, if I don't have a point of view or I don't have an opinion about whether I'm too sensitive or not, if I think my sensitivity is just like a beautiful gift from the universe and God and it's a massive capacity in my world, which is how I see it now, um, if someone come up to me and says, you're too sensitive, Lori, I would be like, you're totally right. I am. And I love that about me. You know, um, you know, you think about it in another way. You know, you're a person who never likes to go out. Hmm, you're right. Like, that's not me. Um, but if you're someone who doesn't like to go out much and someone accuses you of what you actually choose, if you're okay with it, you're going to be just like, hmm, you're right. <laughs> And then you know that they actually have a judgment of you not going out. Or it may not even be about you, but they have a judgment of other people who don't go out. And, you know, really, that's a whole other can of worms in the fact that they could have that judgment because they think you should go out. So they think that, you know, they have a belief in their world that everybody should go out. You know, or it could even be where they're actually jealous and they wish they didn't have to go out all the time and they don't have it in them to be able to say no and just stay home and allow themselves to just have that. So, you know, kind of going back to the idea of my hair again, if some, if I feel good about my hair, someone comes up and says, Hey, Lori, you have great hair. I'll be like, thank you. And then if they come up to, if someone else comes up to me and says, oh my God, Lori, like, really, that's how you're going to wear your hair? Like, really? Well, if I feel good about my hair, I'm going to be like, mm-hmm, totally. This is how I'm working it today. It, it's not going to impact me. So what's really cool is, is what anybody else says is about them. How I react or don't react is about me. So when you look at the world today and you see how many people are offended by a post on Facebook, they're offended by, it could be the government. And you know, right now, not going to lie, I do have a little bit of a point of view about this. I do. Um, so many people are complaining about the weather right now. Now it was, it was minus 39 degrees Celsius here at our place this morning. And it's actually been like that like pretty much minus 20 and colder 
for almost two weeks now. And you know, people want to make something of it. They make that their focus of attention rather than something else greater in their life. Like our, you know, we got a brand new furnace. We did. We got a brand new furnace. And I am so incredibly grateful that we have a brand new furnace. And you know what's cool is we could say, oh my God, it was terrible. Our furnace acted up and we needed to get a new one right when the weather was the coldest. But if you look at it, that's probably what created the furnace going. It had to work extra hard. So it was like, and it, it actually gave us a little bit of forewarning. When we look back now, it actually acted up a, a couple times over the last month. And uh, so, I mean, really, that's really cool. Um, and when we called the person on a Sunday, they came out that same day. They looked at our furnace. They, um, he um, let us know right away what was wrong, gave us the pricing and said, okay, if you guys just, you, know, you can let me know if you want to use me or get someone else or what you want to do or wait. And we're like, no, it was light in our worlds to just uh, use him. And he came Tuesday morning, like, like it happened on a Sunday and it came, he came Tuesday morning. It was fixed by one o'clock on Tuesday and he would have come Monday if we would have needed him. And what if the cold weather is what just, you know, woke up to, you know, it's like whenever we stress something, right, it's going to have a breaking point, even ourselves. And um, yeah, so I just like, so I guess I could be like, I could go into the trauma drama and I could be really reactionary about, you know, the weather's so cold, uh, you know, oh gosh. Um, uh, sorry, it's it's even hard for me to go to drama trauma. It really is. I, I just, I can't even find words in my head. But you know, another thing that I'm actually going to sidetrack a bit off of the subject. So, you know, if you guys have any more questions about this, like uh, that other people's judgments actually has nothing to do with you. Um, your reaction has to do with you. Um, and if you have a hard time looking at that, you know, give me a call. I do sessions on that kind of thing www.laurielarson.com or the wealthy lala at gmail.com either one contact me i'd love to hear from you now the one thing that i did really want to share that is so cool about this and I, I it was neat my awareness without even knowing i was that aware so uh i think it was thir uh, it could have been like november october november i had heard from someone that the farmer's almanac had said our February was going to be really, really cold this year, like close to minus 40 ish. And I was like, wow, isn't that really interesting? So we went away to Mexico in January. And I remember saying to my hubby, isn't it a good thing that we're going away now? Because if February was co is cold this year, if it's going to be this cold, then I would rather be at home being able to take care of anything that goes wrong than being away. Like as much as it'd be, be nice to avoid it, um, I had the sense that, no, I would rather be around to be able to take care of everything, watch things, you know, if anything went wrong. Well, how much was my awareness letting me know exactly that? So that while we were home in February and chose not to go away in February, we chose to go away in January, that I was actually aware of what was coming. And so the universe was like, okay, honey, just don't go away in February. It's going to be really cold. It's going to stress your furnace. Your furnace is 28 years old. So you might not know all those details or remember all those details or know to ask those questions. So we're just going to kind of keep giving you the hit to stick around home in February. And so that's what we did. And it was so interesting because as soon as we realized we were going to need a new furnace, we then got it fixed all of a sudden that sense is gone now. It's like, it's gone. It's like, okay, you heard, you listened. It's all good now. It's all fixed. Okay. Do whatever you want again. <laughs> so, I mean, how does it get any better? And I didn't know at the time I was just, you know, I was kind of generalizing, like I wouldn't want to go away on a February when it was that cold. 
but it actually was fairly specific to this February and how cold it was going to be. So it doesn't mean that every February I've got to stick around. It's just it, the universe was getting me to be aware of this February and how cold it was going to be and to stick around. So yeah, play with that. See where the universe uh, connects you with uh, really great awarenesses to, you know, take care of you and the things that you have. Anyways, on that note, everyone, thank you so much for listening. Um, have an amazing, amazing weekend um, because this is a Friday show and uh, I look forward to talking to you again next week. Big hugs. Bye.